Now, sir, um, I think this question is very pertinent, right? Even you mentioned it today. You informed us here today that only 50 and 60% of your polling unit agents submitted results in the presidential election. And uh, as of mm -hmm. now, you still do not have the figures. Uh, so you're a lawyer, you're a lawyer. And in your petition, which I have read in and out like 10 times, your petition to uh, the appeal courts mm -hmm. and as well uh, your response to the Supreme Court, I read them like 10 times, back to back. Um, you did not include in tabular form the results that you have collated as provided by your polling unit agents, right? But however, you and several party chieftains have gone to media platform claiming to have won the presidential election. So don't you think you are, you know, with what you are telling us today, which we have appreciated, I think a lot of us have really appreciated that is coming out from you. And from my viewpoint, I can see that you are open with information. Don't you think you're being disingenuous if only 60% of your agents submitted their results and you are going about saying you won the presidential election? All right, thank you, Emeka. Thank you very much. Okay, well, well the, the, I mean, as a, we will, um, those reports, like I promised earlier, uh, we will publish in tabular form uh, how we we'll, um, show, how we arrived that we want that election. But beyond tabulating those results, you are in Nigeria. Uh, I make promise that those results were going to be uploaded real time when the election is going on. As at the time INEC was supposed to upload those results, there was directive from INEC that those results should not be uploaded. And it gave opportunity for those results to be manipulated. It, it, it was very clear, even the, the result sheet that you find had results that were altered and were manipulated. So in this circumstance, the only conclusion you can reach on the surface is that that election was rigged. Even the, the results that were uploaded by INEC in IREF were all mutilated and manipulated. They were results that were changed. We are also aware of how voters were suppressed in several other states, how voters were chased out of the, uh, of the um, uh, um, uh, voting centers. In Lagos, for instance, people were killed in Lagos, people were stopped from voting, people were killed and were prevented from going to vote. Where we had strongholds across the country, pre the, those results were changed. In rivers, for instance, you saw how the results in rivers were mutilated, mutilated and destroyed. So, in the overall circumstances, it's very clear that we're rid of that.